It's another unboxing. Oh my gosh, I love doing this video so much. It's like I've got a record of my perfume obsession. Um, <laughs> let's see. So, oh, it's flower bomb. Okay, the box isn't very exciting, I have to say, but let's see what we have inside. It's not a very exciting box. It's a. I've definitely been more excited. Ooh, I got a sample of Spice Bomb. I've read so many good things about this. Cannot wait to try this. I'll do another video about this one. But nice one. Oh. Maybe I'll put off the candle. Huh. It's a bit smaller than I expected. <laughs> Okay, yeah. How much did I get? This is... So this is the 50 mil. It's quite a small bottle. Let's try it out. Shall okay, so the story with a uh, flower bomb is that I started off by trying this sample that came in a Vogue magazine. And so I tried the flower bomb and the flower bomb chew. I liked both of them, but... The flower bomb, the original one, it stayed on my skin a lot longer. So I decided to try it again by going into a shop and get it uh, spritzed on my skin again. And it was amazing. It lasted on me like about 12 hours. And I like it when a perfume lasts that long because I don't necessarily have the time to reapply do, nor do I remember because I'm quite busy what, with five kids and everything. So I do like uh, perfumes that would just stay on me. And I found that the fragrance changed with time. And I think it's quite interesting when a fragrance does that. But what then eventually, so I hadn't bought it. But then what eventually pushed me over the edge was I was watching a video by Notes from Josephine and she was talking about Flower Bomb, how it's a perfume fixer. And I was just like, that's it. So I paused, I went and I ordered it. <laughs> and so here we are. All right. So the top notes are supposed to be tea. It doesn't actually specify whether it's green tea or white tea or black tea or anything like that. Um, there's bergamot, osmanthus, although top notes, I'm beginning to realize that they don't matter as much. Um, I think it's the middle note and the base notes that are more important. But here we have orchid, jasmine, rose and freesia for the base note, uh, middle notes. And uh, for the base notes, it's got patchouli and musk. Quite surprised about the musk, I have to say, because when I did try it on on those separate occasions, I didn't necessarily get the musk. But let's spray some onto my hand and I'll share some more. Yeah, so I'm so excited to finally have this because getting it was such a hassle. There were some mistakes with the courier and it got delivered to the wrong place and then it got back to me and... Yeah, so I got really anxious about it. So I'm so happy to finally actually have it. Although it is smaller than I expected. Um, I thought I was ordering the 100 mils if I have to be perfectly honest. But here we go. So the thing about this is even though it says flower bomb, I've smelled more uh, fragrances that are more flowery. Let's go. <laughs> it's got such a delicate little vaporizer spray. Okay. Mm. So it doesn't have like the immediate uh, fruity floraliness that I get, say, from like the Britney Spears private show or other perfumes that I have tried so far in my young life as a perfume addict. Um, so it's not as florally. And that's the surprising thing about it, because you think it's called Flower Bomb that is going to be, you know, uh, full of flowers. But it isn't. It's got like, um, yes, it does have a touch of sweetness, but it also has this uplifting freshness to it. And I remember the first time that I wore it, I kept thinking of butterflies uh, floating and f uh, float, uh, f you know, flying amongst like uh, the summer bedding plants in my garden. And I, I, that was just the instant imagery that I got when I smelt it. 
I wasn't smelling like the heavy, heady flowers of midsummer when everything has just got a little bit of a, you know, a decadent ripeness to it and almost like an over ripeness. I'm not getting it with this, but this one has got, it's almost energizing, which I don't expect from a floral fragrance because even though it doesn't have any orange notes, I mean, the bergamot, I guess, but it's not like Neroli, which is more uplifting, but oh, it's really beautiful. The musk is very, very faint in this perfume. Um, I don't feel like it's got a very strong musk note on me. Maybe that's my skin that just doesn't bring out the muskiness. But yeah, it is beautiful. And then it's got some touches of rose as well, which is really beautiful. But I find that the rose tends to come through maybe after about an hour or two of wearing it. And then it's just like this really beautiful um, waftiness uh, of it. It's got um, a patchouli-ness, you know, the sweet earthiness of patchouli, which is um, all right. Uh, so yeah, I actually just realized I could keep on talking about this uh, fragrance, but I do like it. Uh, so one of the things that I'm excited to try out are its fixer properties. Um, so as I said, notes from Josephine said that this is a good fixer perfume, which means that if you try on a perfume that you don't like, you add flower bomb to it. Apparently it just makes it the bomb, <laughs> not to show my age. Um I don't think that the bottle design is anything to write home about. It doesn't feel very comfortable to hold. It's not like, say, the Grace Cabotine bottle, which I quite like um, holding. But yeah, beautiful. I also liked the Flower Bomb Dew. And I do plan on getting the Flower Bomb Dew as well at some point. In the future because I found that the flower bomb dew has got I think that one is more florally it's almost like they amped up the floral notes in that one whereas this one it's got a bit of licorice that's it that's the other word that I was trying to remember like if you're familiar with licorice it also has some licorice in it and yeah for a flower bomb it's not actually quite as flowery as you would expect but it's still a very beautiful um, uplifting uh, fragrance and it's not overly uh, overly sweet and it's not cloying even though it's got the musk in it and it's just something that I I love so I'm looking forward to uh, doing a bit more playing around with Victor and Rolf Flower Boom. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time when I am sharing another obsessive perfume rant.